If you've ever been to Queen Street in Niagara Falls, you know there are a lot of interesting things to see and do. And what better way to take them all in than on a Tuesday night cruising on the queue? Well, it started back in the 70s. They had uh, a lot of cars coming down and then we revitalized the downtown, cleaned it up a lot. So a couple of the car guys asked if they could start coming back down. So last year we started it by just putting pylons out and doing a test run. And then this year the city authorized us to close down two blocks. So now it, they feel a lot safer because we had buses flying by and a lot of these cars are expensive. So what kind of cars are we seeing come out for this event? Uh, you got everything from classics to new. The Fast and Furious cars, their clubs will be starting to come, but we got some of them here tonight. We welcome everything. So anyone can bring their car out tonight? Yep. Any show car, anything, anything they want that's unique, different, it's always welcome. AJ, what can you tell me about your vehicle? It's very unique. It's, it's different because we, we enjoy being different. We did the first customizing in an Elvis Presley look. It used to be all pink carpet inside the walls and a dark bar on the door. and You know, it was done a little bit different. And finally in 1884, I took it apart, made the conversion you see today. It has enough, enough horsepower to get out of the way, but the van is very heavy. It's 5,700 pounds without me in it. So as you can see, there's a lot of oak and wood and it adds to the weight. So do you take it out for a drive very often? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll start driving um, probably mid-April. I'll take it anywhere I want. Uh, I don't uh, tow it, I don't baby it. Last year I did uh, seven trophy runs and picked up six trophies. So it, uh, it shows well. Mark, what can you tell me about your vehicle? Well, it's a 66 Prigian Customs Bar Convertible. I've had it 27 years. Um, not many of them around. What do you think it is about the cars that attract so many people to come out? Well, it's just so different. You see everything on the road today and everything looks the same, you know. And back in the day, everybody was so excited to see the next year's model because everything, you know, so radically changed. And Now, has the weather had an effect on this year at all for you? Yeah, Tuesdays always seems to be the roughest day, but it's the only cruise night we could get. The first two Tuesdays it rained. It's going to snow today. We got 20 of them left, so we should get some sun, I hope. Are there any uh, funds being raised during the event at all? Uh, yes, for out in the cold, we got a 50-50 draw, and proceeds will be going towards them. Now, aside from coming out and checking out a lot of very cool cars, what's the ultimate goal of the event? To get people to come back downtown and revitalize, to get people to see how much we're trying to do. It's all cleaned up and, you know, so they can come down and see the new shops that are open, helping up and the new restaurants that are opening up. and just to get people to come start coming down and enjoy what it used to be. Admission is free for this summer's Cruising on the Queue, which happens every Tuesday from 6 to 9 p.m. here on Queen Street until October 6th. In Niagara Falls reporting for The Source, I'm Katie Jones.